Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about Holly Golightly and her favorite beauty products. So Holly Golightly is a character in the film A Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is a novel by Truman Capote, which was published in 1958. And this novel was later turned into the famous film Breakfast at Tiffany's, which came out in 1961, which stars Audrey Hepburn. Originally, Capote wanted to have Marilyn Monroe play Holly Golightly and lobbied the studio for her, but the film was done at Paramount and though Mar Monroe was an independent actress, she was still under contract with 20th Century Fox. I honestly can't imagine Marilyn Monroe playing this role, but maybe it's just because Breakfast at Tiffany's so iconic and I just picture Audrey Hepburn every time I think of it. Hepburn's portrayal of Holly Golightly as the naive, eccentric, cafe society girl is generally per considered to be one of the actress's most memorable roles to date. Hepburn said this was, was one of her most challenging roles that she has done because she is an introvert and had to play an extrovert. Breakfast at Tiffany's was received very well by the critics and it won two Academy Awards, Best Original Score and Best Original Song, Moon River which was also selected as the fourth most memorable song in Hollywood history by the American Film Institute in 2004. In 2012, the film was deemed culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant by the United States Library of Congress and selected for the preservation in the National Film Registry. And Holly Golightly is considered to be one of the most charming and famous New York characters of all time, played with effortless grace, vulnerability, intelligence, and humor. And Breakfast at Tiffany is one of my favorite movies. I've seen it so many times, and I used to be obsessed with her apartment, and I still am. I love the design. I always wanted a bathtub couch, and I even wanted a cat because she had one. I just love everything about this movie. And there are scenes in the movie where Holly Golightly has a mailbox, and she keeps perfume in there, and the perfume that she has in there is by Jean Patou, and the perfume that she wore was discontinued in the late 1960s, and it's Maquila, and she kept this one in her mailbox, but Joy by Jean Patou is another famous perfume that I could see her wearing. And if you look at Holly Golightly's dressing table, she has bottles of vintage Revlon red nail polishes, and I think it's pretty likely that she used Revlon Fire and Ice. And also on her dressing table, there are Falcons of Guerlain perfume. You can't really tell the label on it, but it's very likely that it could be any Guerlain perfume like Le Hair Bleu or Mistuco, to name a few. And Holly Golightly also used Pons Angel Face Face Powder. This was a popular product in the 1960s. And she also loved Pons Dreamflower Dusting Powder, which comes in this beautiful vintage pink container that she loved to use. So she had high-end taste, but she also didn't necessarily have a lot of money. So she combined high and low when it comes to her beauty products. She also loved the face cream Happy Face, and this is a banishing face cream and it worked really well as a spot treatment or as a cleanser or just a face cream and I love the cute little vintage packaging it definitely reminds me of Holly Golightly and she also used Camway soap this was a very popular soap in the 1950s and 60s it actually started in 1926 and then eventually became a beautiful complexion soap for women and it was this beautiful pink soap and which I love. I love how vintage and feminine it is. And she loved Max Factor and used Max Factor mascara and this beautiful gold tube. And for makeup, she also loved Hazel Bishop false eyelashes. And these are ready to wear with 100% human hair because she had those beautiful lashes in the film. And she also used Revlon Touch and Glow liquid makeup. And this was a beautiful makeup foundation and it worked really well to kind of give you a bright radiant glow and for eyeshadows and blush she had kind of like a greenish blue eyeshadow and i found this vintage palette from the 1960s and it has beautiful colors that i could picture holly golightly wearing and i'm using it as a reference for like a 1960s eyeshadow palette that she most likely would have used and for lipstick vintage doll cosmetics has a replica of 
Holly Golightly lipstick and it's a beautiful coral pink shade that resembles a popular 1960s shade. And for hair, Holly Golightly used Prell Shampoo, which was a very popular product in the 1960s. And she also loved Aquanet Hairspray because it kept her hair very soft and worked in all types of weather. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products in the comments below and who you want me to do next. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.